Hey, welcome everyone into the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of Counterpoint. Today, I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about a purge solenoid or purge valve. Now, I know we've talked about a bunch of different purge solenoids and purge valves on different motors and different part numbers. I want to talk about today a PV630. And now, what I want to talk about isn't going to exactly just be related to this one, which goes on an 11 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter turbo, but it's going to pertain to most of our turbocharged engine and supercharged engines purge solenoids or purge valves. And, and I'm going to talk just a little bit about the different testing practices that you want to be careful of so you don't end up getting burned on one of these diagnostics, okay? So here in front of us here is an intake manifold. For those of you keen on your intake manifolds, you'll recognize this is the 2.3 liter Ford engine that uh, is back from our Focus that we did our IMR class on. This is not a turbo engine intake manifold. I'm just using it for the purposes of an intake manifold today. Here is the purge solenoid PV630 that comes in this box. This is for our Chevy Cruze. And again, this isn't only going to apply to our Chevy Cruze. But by the looks of it, it looks like a normal purge solenoid and that we know they are attached to the intake manifold. The other end goes back to our vapor canister. They're normally closed. You apply power and ground to them, they open, and we draw our fumes from the canister into the intake to be burned. That's how they function, right? But this one's going to be a little bit different, and most of our turbo engines will be this way too. They have this added piece right here. This added piece right here is a one-way valve. This is for boosted engines, okay? Because think of what could happen. We have an intake manifold. Typically sits in engine vacuum, right? 18 inches or so of vacuum. We full throttle a normally aspirated engine, that vacuum is going to drop and we're going to have zero vacuum and there is zero pressure. But on a turbo or supercharged engine, we're going to spin up that power adder, whether it's a turbo or supercharger, and we're going to build pressure inside of our intake manifold. It could be 15, 20 psi potentially, building up inside of this intake manifold. This is connected directly to the intake. So let's, let's put some theory behind this. You're cruising down the road, you're going down the highway, and your system is purging, okay? You're, you're at a happy throttle, it's, it's purging, okay? You jump in the left lane and you floor it. Turbo spins up, we build pressure inside of the intake manifold. What if the purge solenoid didn't seal all the way? What if it's not fast enough to seal? You could apply pressure up to 15 or 20 psi back to the EVAP system, back to the canister, the fuel tank, the fuel tank pressure sensor. Remember how sensitive those are. We've talked about those in another class. There's a reason why our EVAP smoke machines only apply roughly one or one and a half PSI of pressure to our EVAP system. They're not meant for that much pressure. That is why we have a one-way check valve on here. This is intended to stop any sort of pressure that's coming from our intake manifold before it hits our purge and before it goes back to our EVAP system. So one-way valve is gonna close if we apply pressure from our intake manifold this direction, okay? And this is the way it's mounted on the, on the intake manifold. This end on the intake, this end going back to the EVAP canister. Now, that being said, when we test these things, a lot of us like to leave it connected to the intake, pull the connector off, pull the hose off that goes back to the canister and throw a vacuum gauge on it, right? Let's just see what it does with a vacuum gauge. So I'm gonna pump this up and show you guys it's perfect. Steady needle, this thing is holding perfectly. And I can guarantee to you guys that this part has failed. Okay? Doesn't quite make sense yet because I'm not done explaining it, but this part has failed and set a code in our um, Chevy Cruze. So we're holding vacuum like we would normally test. And the reason why that is, is because we're sucking vacuum this way through the system. There, and you could, you could hear that coming off of there. But same way with pressure applying this way, we're drawing vacuum the same way and we're tripping our one-way valve. We're holding the valve tight against its seat like it's supposed to. The valve is doing its job. The one-way valve is doing its job. Our purge solenoid is potentially stuck open right now, but our one-way valve is doing its job and not allowing pressure to go this way or vacuum to be drawn this direction. That being said, let's try and draw vacuum in the opposite direction. So to do that, you could uh, start up the engine and with this connected to the intake, you would, you would be able to feel vacuum coming out of here, most likely. Or put a vacuum gauge on it and see if you have vacuum coming out of this end. Or pull the valve off and apply vacuum the opposite direction. And that's what I'm going to do here. Shove a hose in here. 
And now it's connected the opposite way, so we're going from the intake manifold side and we're going to draw a vacuum this way through the solenoid, just like it would be on the engine when the solenoid is open, okay? When this thing is in normal operating mode, when we're purging and drawing those fuel vapors out of the, out of the uh, vapor canister, we are going to be drawing vacuum across the system and it's going to go this way, okay? It's important to know. We're going this way with our, with our flow right now and watch our vacuum pump. Look at that. Nothing. So verifying our, our problem is by testing it this way. And, and most of us aren't going to pull this off the intake, put a pump on it. We would fire up the engine and idle and see if we have a vacuum coming out here. Make sure you unplug the connector so this thing isn't mistakenly purging for whatever reason. Most vehicles won't purge at idle, but uh, I always unplug the connector just to be safe. Now, just to prove it and go one step further, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take our uh, one-way valve out of the loop here. Okay, so I'm going to pump this up. Actually, why don't I show you guys first on the, uh, on the new one that we do actually hold vacuum going the other direction. So here's a brand new one. This is right out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply vacuum on the intake manifold side just like we just did and we're going to hold vacuum on here just like we're supposed to. So pump this up and make sure I have a good connection here. And there we go. So this valve is holding just like it's supposed to. Okay, so if you were to put this one on the intake manifold right here, fired up, you would not feel vacuum here in idle with the connector unplugged. This would be nothing. You would have nothing here. So, like I said, let's verify that this valve is actually, our solenoid is actually bad and stuck open. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pump up our vacuum again. There we go. And I'm going to try and hold this for you guys. And I'm going to take our one-way valve out of the picture. I have a side cutters here. I'm just going to take it out. Okay. Look at that. So with our one-way valve out of the picture there, we have a leaking solenoid. So just be careful guys, whenever you're testing one-way valves on turbo motors, you're going to see these all over the place. Watch out, look in your hose for a one-way valve. Brake boosters, purge solenoids, anything that's going to be connected to engine vacuum will typically have a one-way valve so we don't apply boost to things like the brake booster the EVAP system, something like that, okay? So just a quick easy one today. Again, that was PV630, purge solenoid on a 2011 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter turbo. But again, that does not only apply to the Chevy Cruze. It's gonna be on all of our boosted engines that we're seeing a lot more nowadays, right? Turbo, supercharged engines, look for one-way valves and make sure you realize that they're in there when you're using vacuum or pressure to test the system, okay? So that's gonna be it for today in the Wells Tech Garage. Check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. We're out there on all of them posting up technical information as well as just things that are happening in the industry. And uh, all right, that's going to be it for today. I hope everybody has a great day. Happy wrenching, and we'll see you again next time in the Wells Tech Garage. Thank you.